Okay, greetings everyone. This is Gerard, Energy from Filipino Solo Magazine, aka SGIB Magazine, stand for soldiers that intend to believe that. Because everyone should be soldiered to something. A dream, a goal, an idea, a trend, or something. And on our PBG's production, stand for photos by Gerard, the best in freelance publicity photography. While I'm in my new Ponderosa now, and um, the house of uh, the caretakers here, uh, she's a terrific gal. Uh, I purchased some milk. This is called a milkfish. There's another word for it, but it's a milkfish. So I bought some, and she's prepared my dinner for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of stuff going on right now. Right now, I have no internet. Matter of fact, I have no Facebook. Mm, 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 mm. Vegetables are good. Vegetables and fish, that's all you need. No, no rice, unfortunately. And clover and cream. The beverage, the beverage of this champion. So, um, I have no Facebook or anything, which is no internet. And which is extremely frustrating because I'm reduced to just watching what I can on my phone and with it buffering all the time, it makes it very difficult. Let me tell you a story. When I was a child, living in North Carolina, my grandmother, Corelli McCoy, she had 14 kids. We used to go fishing with her. First, we would go dig the worms. One big hoe, a hoe. <laughs> Then we'd go down by McNair's Pond and we would fish. We would catch a great deal of fish there. Perch, brims, and things of that nature. Occasional snake. <laughs> and when we got back, there was so much fish that it was time to clean them. And I just refused to clean the fish. I told my grandmother, I said, no, I'm not cleaning fish. And she said, okay, fine. If you don't clean fish, you won't eat any. So I showed her. I said, it's okay. I don't like fish. So for, psychologically, for the rest of the, for the longest time, I would not eat fish. As I got older into an adult, I still would not eat fish. I would eat tuna fish, I would eat clams, you know, shrimp I'm allergic to. I, I've never had lobster, never had crabs. But I would not eat fish. It wasn't until I was in my 30s that I finally decided to eat fish. So I have deprived myself of this delicacy for over, I say, 25 years, pretty much. Or maybe 20 years. No, no, no. Excuse me. 50 years. Because I stopped eating it when I was younger, in my early teens, even in my teens. I deprived myself of eating this delicacy all because I didn't want to clean fish. <laughs> That's so funny. This place here, I can't begin to tell you how happy I am here. Some of you may know that Helen's pregnant. Oh, I'm assuming she is because we had two stud sessions. We're going into the second week tomorrow, Sunday. But she's also still spotting and bleeding. I was wondering if she had, if a dog could have morning sickness because she was th throwing up. <laughs> but
but be that as men, she's not eating, which is um, a lot of concern to me because I want her to eat and you know provide nutrients for the puppies. So Monday I'm taking her to the vet. We'll see if this find out if there's anything wrong with her. And to weigh her again. To see if she's actually losing weight or gaining. But I decided no more human food for her. Which I think is why I spoiled her on human food. Or human cooking. It was told to me, it made a lot of sense, it said, Gerard, you should not give your dog human food. He says, because there are preservatives and seasonings and things of that nature that can be harmful to the dog internally. He says, if you feed a dog food, you're assured that the vitamins and nutrients, and nutrients, nutrients that are in it are actually for the benefit and the health of your dog. So they made enough sense to me. Plus, Helen has become very finicky. She won't eat chicken. She won't eat um. She won't eat her, her rice and fish because I was feeding her rice and fish. And now she hasn't eaten as she normally has or seen to eat in over a week. So I'm concerned about her. So Monday I'm taking her to the back. You know. There's so much I can tell you, but I just really want to show off my meal here. Very good. So with that being said, I'm going to end it right here. I don't know when I'll post this because internet, internet takes four to six weeks to get here. It too has only been about two weeks. But... In the meantime, don't forget, I know this is my telling you about August 3rd because I won't have it posted by then. Or maybe I will. Maybe I will have it posted. Have this posted. Oh, I will. So don't forget on August 3rd. At Bill Gott's on the Boulevard of Dumaguete, I'll be having my 5,000 peso raffle giveaway. When I was living in Cebu, every Wednesday, all my girlfriends would come and we would eat fish. I had the, 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 the housekeeper who maintained the food she would cook it, and we all sit around laughing and eating and whatever. It was delicious. I miss that. It was so fun. So, remember, I told myself a long time ago that I wanted to move to the Philippines on the beach, play bongo drums, and tell a Hollywood story. Well, it took a while. Now I'm in the Philippines. I'm living on the beach. I'm looking for bongo drums. And I want to say that to you because this is what I mean when I say dreams are nothing more than plans or waiting action. That you have to have them in life. You have to have goals. You have to have a focus in life. You have to know where it is that you want to be in life. And once you know where you want to be in life, then you figure out a way to how to get there in life. And uh, I'm living my dream, baby. I am here. You know, in spite of all the things I've gone through, living inside of a storage unit in Las Vegas, being robbed, being homeless, living out of a car, 
you know, uh, being personal drivers to 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 drug dealers and and and, and ladies of the night, you know, you know, to maintain my sanity, you know. Um, but I mean it, man. I mean it. You know, and you can too. You can be whatever you want to be in life. As long as you put a plan together and make it happen. The most important thing about having plans is making them. You may not always make your plans, but the ones that you do are the ones that lay the groundwork and the discipline for you to have the ambition to achieve the bigger ones in life. You know, um, and I constantly say there's no shame in falling. The shame is not getting back up. At any given time in my recklessness, it could, being arrested or something like that could prevent me from being where I am today. This past March, I celebrated 20 years of not having handcuffs on me. 20 years. That's a beautiful thing, man. And I always believe that doing the right thing is easy. It's easy to do the right thing. The hardest thing is doing the wrong thing because you go against yourself, you go against your soul, you go against your belief, you go against what your mama taught you. <laughs> mm. There's so many things flashing through my mind that I, I feel like I should tell you. But it's okay. I just want to relish in this good meal. I wonder if I can. Sharing it with you. As I was saying, dreams are nothing more than plans waiting out. Never disrespect the elderly. <laughs> I know he pulls on out. <laughs> Philippines is the best place for fresh fish, baby. And if you haven't got a dream of old and ideal train of thought, don't worry. Do what I used to do. Get as much you can, as fast you can, go on. You know what's next. If you're lucky enough to have a woman like Ollie Woodson, former lead singer of The Temptations, once said, treat her like a lady. A lady. <laughs> if you're lucky enough to have a good man like me, Make me feel like a thing. You know what song comes to my head? Mine. Fish head, fish head, roly poly fish head, fish head, fish head, eat them up, yum. <laughs> and remember, I always love you more. Take care of yourself, be true to yourself, love yourself. But most importantly, enjoy life. I'll talk to you later. Thank you.